Hello and welcome. I'm the Beardy Gadget Guy and today we'll be reviewing Toasty Bags by Home Connection. Now there are many brands of Toasty Bags out there, so why Home Connection you may ask? One reason and one reason only. It was for the complete overload of information on the packaging and I love it. Could you put any more information on this packaging? I dare you. Seriously, I dare you. But to be fair, it's pretty useful. And hey, I bought it, so they must be doing something right. Right? So let's take a look at the packaging. What did I tell you? Busy as hell. We have inside two toaster bags that can cook up to 50 toasties. So let me do some calculations. That's 100 potentially tasty toasty treats for you to devour. Yummy. So these toasty pouches can be washed and dried in a sink or in a dishwasher and it's made from a non-stick material. And hey, check this out. It has a new compound formula. What does that mean? Damned if I know, Home Connection are trying to impress me with some sciencey stuff so I'll pretend I get it. Now this bit right here is what I'm most interested in. Now I thought these toasty bags were just for toasties, right? Wrong. You can use these toasty bags for reheating cooked food that you may just have lying about the place. This includes pizza slices, french fries, chicken nuggets, fish fingers and more. So pretty much anything that you plan to reheat in the oven can go straight into the toasty bag and bish bash bosh, job done tasty food. I can hear the minds of university students right now being blown across the country. I bet you was wondering if it could handle frozen foods. Probably not a great idea, as the packaging distinctly states not to use raw or uncooked food. So please don't. I don't want any of my lovely viewers getting ill. Alright? So being of a certain vintage, toasty bags were not about when I was young, so I resorted to using an old school toasty maker. Which don't get me wrong, worked a treat, but the mess I made was unreal. So this gadget would have been a worthy addition to my culinary arsenal in my younger days. Maybe it's not too late for you. What we're going to do today is try this product two ways. With one traditional toasty and one reheating some tasty morsels from the fridge. So it's very simple. All we're going to do is prepare our sandwich, slide it into the toasty bag and pop it into the toaster. We're also going to get this toaster working double time with some fish fingers that have been in the fridge since last night. The only thing you'll have to work out is what setting you'll have your toaster dial at. This unfortunately will have to be worked out on your own as each toaster will be different. Just a little trial and error, but I know you got this. So I'm very keen to try this out right now. So let's head over to the kitchen to find out if it is the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> it's time to stop. So we're back with the taste test. Let's pop it out onto the chopping board to see how well it's turned out. Hopefully it's not fully cremated or I'm going back to the kitchen to start over. Okay, so we're back. Um, we got the toasty in here and we got a couple of fish fingers here. So I think we'll start off with the toasty. Also, with the bread that we're using, it's a little bit smaller than your average bread, but it seems to fit perfect in these bags. So as you can tell, it's got a fairly even toast to it. A little bit of burntness here. What I put in just is very standard cheese and thinly sliced onion. Classic. Let's cut it in half. Take a look. So the cheese has melted really well inside. It's pretty good. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm -mm. That's pretty good. Well, some people like to butter the bread sort of crisps it up a bit more but I just left it plain. 
as you can see there's no mess in this bag so I can see how this could last up to 50 goes <clears throat> let's have a look at the fish fingers I only put two in there but there's a capacity in there for maybe um, at least four fish fingers I thought we're only just trying it out so if it turns out bad we've only wasted two fish fingers Put them out. Right. See how hot that is. It's not hot, it's just warm. But edible because it's still been cooked. If it had been left at room temperature, we would probably have had a lot hotter fish finger, but it's still edible. And the crispy coating is still crispy, which is a plus. All in all, it's a pretty easy way to um, reheat some of your food from the fridge. I'd recommend it, but maybe just leave it at room temperature for a while. Or have the toaster on for a longer period of time. Just be careful not to burn your food. All in all, it's not a bad first effort. With a little bit of tweaking of the toaster, I think I'm about to get um, slightly better results. But the food's edible. It's come out to a half decent standard and it's a good way to have a snack on the go. So if you're looking for a quick convenient way to make a cheese toasty or reheat cooked foods without firing up the oven, this could be the product for you. Although it lacks the capacity compared to your oven, it's perfect for a quick easy snack. It also has an advantage over the microwave as it crisps up your food instead of leaving them soggy. I'm fairly impressed with this product due to its simplicity. One bag and a toaster, a bit of creativity and you've got yourself a top notch snack. Great value for money, saves on space. Overall a great product that I will be recommending to my friends. You've been watching The Bearded Gadget Guy and I'm now off to make a super colossal four cheese toasty.